norm. What do I mean by a norm of a vector? So let me just uh, illustrate in my lab. What I mean by norm of a vector is uh, there is this norm function in MATLAB that tells you basically how big a vector is. So a very easy thing to do is if you type in uh, the norm of a scalar, let's say 1, okay, you get 1, right? You type in the norm of 2, you get 2. You type in the norm of minus 2, what do you think you get? 2, right? So it's the magnitude of something. So, of course, a scalar is a special case, right? Basically, if you plug in a scalar, the norm is the absolute value. So, it's not very useful for a scalar, but it's really useful when you get a vector. So, let's say I have a vector of 2 and 2. What you get is a 2.8. So, now, can you start to guess what the norm is? Okay, 2 and 2 and 2, you get 3.6, and another 2, you get 4. <coughs> what do you think the norm is? Like Looks like the magnitude of the vector, right? Uh, if I plug in four and uh, a three and four, what do you think? Five. Yeah, I get five, right? So basically, it's the magnitude of the vector in the sense, uh, uh, for example, if I take in this one, right? It's actually this times uh, a, a square and uh, I'm gonna sum it over and taking a square root so it's the same as the norm so it's the square root of the sum of squares okay that's a norm that's a uh, um, one of the I mean in mathematics uh, there are different norms and this particular norm is usually the default is called L2 norm I mean because it's you you take square right It's the second power and you take square root which is the half power so it's called the L2 norm because there are twos everywhere so uh, it's it's usually used as uh, the magnitude of a vector yes so are you saying that we could have like put all of the errors into the vector and then found the that yes, error. that could be a single number, right? Yeah. That quantifies how much error there is. So is that like better than like trying to use volume between the pairs, or is, is that is there like a reason why that would be better than a different way to define error? Actually, there is a okay. So so you mentioned that uh, you find the volume between the curves, right? That's actually a different uh, type of norm. I mean, that's also a norm, another way to quantify how big a vector is. So, for example, when I type in the norm, right, I could actually give you another uh, argument to MATLAB. It's called uh, which norm it is. The volume you are talking about is actually the L1 norm. So, uh, it actually, for a scalar, it doesn't matter if I have uh, any scalar. Either the L1 norm or the L2 norm, they are both the magnitude. But then, when I get a vector, it's different. So, again, when I take the one norm of 2 and 2, it's actually 4, right? It's really kind of the area, in this case, or uh, volume that's underneath the vector, right? If I have 2, 2, 2, 2, it's actually 8, as opposed to if I type the default, which is L2 norm, is 4. So, what is it? The L1 norm is simply a sum of absolute values, right? It's just a sum of absolute values. So that's actually representative of the area or volume below a curve, right? Or if you take the error, it's the, uh, it's the volume in between these two curves. Is that what you are referring to? Okay, but in both cases, you need to be very careful um, when you compare the norms of different discretizations, right? Because the L1 norm is actually more, even more severe because if I look at the same curve, if I look at the same amount of error, but if I have a finer discretization, the, the, L, the L1 norm would look much bigger for the finer discretization. Just because I'm summing over more numbers, although these numbers are of similar magnitude, if I sum over more of them, I get a larger error. It looks like I get a larger error, right? So 
you should really look at the average. So instead of just blindly calling the norm function, right? So you should be actually taking not the norm, but actually the absolute value and you take the mean. That's a much better way of looking at the error. The mean of the absolute value as opposed to the sum of the absolute values, right? And in L2 norm, instead of uh, taking the square root of the sum, I should be taking the square root of the mean of the squares. All right.